Hey, yeah, it's your boy, uh, Rage Gaming. Welcome back to another video by the title, and right here, we're doing uh, another scary horror story. Yeah, let's get into it, guys. By the way, if we're lucky, if we're lucky, I might be doing a um video with uh Ultra Lord Gamer. We're gonna do some Fortnite. Hope, hopefully, I should say, guys. I got the hiccups. Sorry about that. Over the weekend, about 15. Co Holy crap! This dude voice deep as frick. Workers and myself had our company trip to the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, known for being Stephen King inspiration for The Shining. We First of all, why do I think this is a good idea? I mean, it's based off of the of it's based off of a horror movie called The Shining by freaking Stephen King. So, please tell me, what are you freaking up thinking? That j just what? Obviously, they're going to be like horror and stuff. So, Hope you are prepared. Took an 8 p.m. ghost tour where we joined about 15 other people to get guided around the property and told stories about its history and creepy things that are said to have happened. Hmm. We were told to take a lot of pictures, I'm sure to try and capture orbs or ghosts. Many green orbs were caught in pictures, but I don't think anything is as creepy as this photo taken by my coworker. A little girl in a hot pink dress who was definitely not on our tour. And apparently, years ago, a young girl who was 12 to 13 by the name of Lucy was squatting in the basement of the concert hall, which is where this photo was taken. Mm. And she was discovered upon plans to begin some construction. Oh, she was forced to leave, and the night got below freezing. So she froze to death. Everyone on my tour has vouched um. that this girl was not on our tour. I mean, who wouldn't remember someone wearing hot pink? The man pictured is our tour guide. No one would have been in front of him. I am convinced that this is the ghost of Lucy. This is spooky. Just one more added note, though I doubt anyone would believe me. But there was only one time throughout the tour where I felt any strange energy or feeling. And it was right there, headed down to the basement of the concert hall. Stupid. What's that? Plain white sauce? Plain white sauce makes your teeth go grey! Um... Ah! Um... What is going on? Plain white sauce? Plain white sauce makes your teeth go grey! <laughs> Hi, I'm Billy Swift and I'm here to tell you about Quid! Quid is an awesome app where you can collect stickers, gifts, pop figures, and so much more for free. What? Quid has um. tons of stickers from shows like Rick and Morty, Family Guy, um. and Archer. You can even get Llama Art stickers. Didn't get the stickers you wanted? No problem! Um. Trade with other users and try to complete sets to get special awards. Um. Get free coins every few hours to keep your collection growing. If so you run out, there's loads of ways to get more coins for free. You can use the stickers you've collected in any messaging app. Yes, any messaging app. A new feature of Quid is the Shelfie, where you create scenes with your collectibles, which you can share with other users. Download Quid for free using the link in the description and add Llama Arts if you want to trade. Are we done here? Okay, good. Um... This happened a few weeks ago when I was Fine. walking home from school, excited that my freshman year was coming to an end. It was a Tuesday night when I was turning in my last- He doesn't look so happy, I mean. Last essay for history. I left it to the last minute and the teacher actually made me complete it before I could go home. I hated my teacher for that. Around 8pm, I had finished that goddamn essay and was walking home. The rain had stopped and there was a beautiful sunset. Suddenly, I noticed something. There was a red 2016 Toyota Camry right behind me. I got goosebumps thinking it was following me. I didn't look back and started walking in my apartment's direction. I wanted to go to a busy road to feel safer, 
Just then, the car sped up, stopping right next to me. A middle-aged man asked me where I was headed and suggested to drop me off. I said no thanks, but the man wouldn't leave and insisted. I wanted to tell the man to just fuck off, but I took off running instead. I heard a loud noise and at the same time felt something I can only describe as a sharp vibration hitting my flesh. I fell to the ground not knowing what happened. Out of adrenaline, I was about to get up and run again as I felt a heavy arm grab me by the mouth. Then the pain set in. I realized that I was shot. There was another man next to him that searched my pockets. He grabbed my phone and threw it on the ground as he tied my legs and taped my mouth. They quickly put me into the trunk of their Bye. car and then started driving. I could feel that we were going very fast and I'm sure that we hadn't stopped at all for a good 30 minutes. Mm. I was feeling my blood soaking into my shirt, which scared me the most. I was certain that I was going to die. I was thinking about my parents and what they would feel when they heard that I was missing. Then the car came to a stop. By some miracle, I heard a police officer asking for IDs and driver's licenses. I wanted to yell for help, but nothing came out. Just then, I heard three to four gunshots. I heard another cop yelling. Man down! Man down! Shot fired! Bodied. All I gotta say, bodied. I was begging the cop to find me. Then I heard the cop searching the car. I was feeling joy as my pain was growing worse. Seconds felt like hours. The officer then opened the car's trunk and suddenly started firing at me out of a fight or flight response. Thankfully, the bullets missed. The officer quickly caught up to the fact that I was kidnapped and injured. He called for backup immediately, and it arrived in minutes. They placed the injured officer onto a gurney and drove off in an ambulance. Finally, when the scene was safe, they called another ambulance for me. I woke up in the hospital. The news media was everywhere. I was fine after a few days, but later learned that the officer that was shot didn't make it. I don't know if those men are still alive or rotting away in a prison for killing an officer. I don't want to know what would have happened if those officers hadn't stopped the car. Would've got body, just like that cop. They got shot. Thank you to Quid for sponsoring this video. Cool. Neato. Wow. Rated T for T. Holy crap. <laughs> like we're gonna do, we're gonna watch like one more of a like.